Hi, so I want to talk to you a little bit today about doing some portrait photography. So in this assignment, I've linked to, I have two pages actually of photography and some examples there, and I'm going to take you there in just a second to show you those. You're going to be taking photographs of people, and one has to be a self-portrait, and you're going to upload three into the assignment. Um, I want you to think about some lighting and angles today. That is going to be what is going to work the most um, in your photography uh, assignment to do your best work. Uh, at the end uh, of the lesson today, you are going to be looking at a portrait photographer, Jeremy Cowart. Um, he's a self-taught artist and has a fantastic backstory and message that I have linked to here. You're actually going to watch the video and then write a brief synopsis in the discussion uh, assignment that follows this one. So make sure that you are getting that done as well. So let's look a little bit at some photography portrait examples that, um, and let me show you some examples of what I'm talking about with the lighting. So by having some really great lighting, so the lighting coming off on her left, and then it creates this deep dark shadow, and that contrast between white background to the black background really makes this portrait stand out and bring your attention in. You can even use like a slight filter. So I think when they took this photo, it kind of had like a warm glow to it. You can do a couple of things. So you can actually hold up a colored sheet of paper and bounce your light off the colored paper onto the subject that you're using. And that color will then reflect onto their face and create your, its own filter. Or some of you on your phones probably already have a filter app with color that will change it to the warm glow. Think about your angles. I'm going to show you this one coming up a little bit more under the chin. And then this one is a beautiful angle from like diagonally overhead. So it's not just purely straight on sideways, but actually starting from the top and coming down to add an interesting point of view. This student, again, used like a solid background to them. So they stood behind, I had some matte board here in class that was colored, and then reflected that red glow paper. Again, bounced the, the light off the color and then it casts that light and toned him all in that red glow. Think about, again, some extreme lighting and how bright and everything that is. Think about where you're placing your person in your composition. I think this use of negative space in this one is outstanding. It really gets some great um, composition going on with her. You're, you're looking at the light that's being cast on her face and really feeling her expression. Um, being used. Not only do you need a, could you use a solid background, but you could use something that has high texture or maybe have light shining through um, the lines that are coming across the person's face. Maybe you're using a little bit of glow um, around them. Maybe you have like some backlighting. Uh, again, you could use, put it into like a filter and actually change that. Think about your composition. I think this one's great as far as not it is a portrait, but it also really is telling a story in some ways. Like the, the, you feel like the isolation of this person, look at the angle that they've taken this picture from, it's a lot more interesting. This picture here with the shadow coming and dividing the paper down purposefully um, really creates an interesting look to the photograph. Sometimes backlighting can be a little bit hard, but when it's done right, it can make for an interesting, uh, almost like halo effect around somebody. Um, but you have to be a little bit careful of it so it doesn't um, pull your eye too much away in the brightness and let you lose some of the concentration on the face. This one's one of my favorites. I love the way the student was able to black out everything else and really focus in on the eye and the angle there. And then here's another one, looking down a hallway for perspective, again, bouncing off some blue light or some fun um, bottom, you know, contrasting, getting uh, the different angle of the lighting work. So that's what I want you to work on in this portrait one. So really think about your lighting and your angles while you're working on.